Side of me. All right, so we made 50 gallons of cider, an absurd amount. We split it up into nine different batches and we pitched a different type of yeast in each one. We're gonna taste them all today and we're gonna rank them. By the way, to my right here, you might not recognize him with his clothes on. This is Emmett Leahy. This is our new video editor here, Libby. <laughs> Apparently we are her current best job option, so. <laughs> I hope things improve for you in the future. I guess let's just go left to right. The first one is uh, Belgian wit yeast. Good mix of apples from an apple orchard. Mm. Yes, and it should be pretty much the same Add base apples through the whole, the yeah. whole tasting. Just Added a little bit of DME, right? To one batch, the... yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. Am I supposed to spin the cup? You know, it's not a requirement, but. <laughs> I like it. That's a, that's a nope for me, boys. <laughs> that's a nope? No. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just edited the video. Why it's not, it, actually, it's, why not, you like? it's not terrible. It's just got a weird, like, apple. It just tastes like apples. It is made from <laughs> It apples. is a cider. <laughs> The thing with cider is that sometimes it, it doesn't hide much, so mm -hmm. it kind of needs to age for a while, we've, we've found. It's got a weird thing on the end that yeah. I can't, almost band-aid-y, <laughs> yeah. I would say. We're starting with, I would say, potentially the worst. But it's all subjective, too. Your brain should be. My mind's gonna blow by yeah. the end of this video. It's not terrible. I mean, it really isn't. Yeah. If when do know. we rate them? Oh, that's, that's a great question. I feel like we should do it while we remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so here are our options. You have nope, chill, mid, bussin, or god tier. Bussin tables. Is that what the kids say? <laughs> that's not what the kids say. Let's My say standards out. are pretty low. That's not terrible. I'd go chill. I'd drink it. Are you going to go chill on that one? Yeah. All right. I'll join you with chill. Let I, I'm just peer pressure. I'm going chill You're gonna go <laughs> with peer pressure. <laughs> We're going to go chill. Boom. Wow. Okay, cool. So next up is the Belgian monk yeast. All right. Totally different smell. Belgian monk. By the way, like check out all the different colors. It's wild. The variation between the color and yeah. the clarity. Definitely has a Belgian vibe. I'm not a huge fan of Belgian beers. Until I drink like two of them and then, <laughs> and then you're feeling real good. Because they're like high ABV generally. What's the uh, saying Ross always said about drinking wow. doubles, seeing triple, feeling single or something it, like that? Yep. I like this. I don't know if it's an unfair comparison. This might have a little bit more carbonation on it. Yes. The Belgian wet definitely has lower carbonation. Which I think that's kind of helping yeah. it a little bit. So yeah. this is giving it probably a little bit unfair advantage. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like what's happening. Pretty clean. It's got some of what you would think in the background. Oh, I'm busting tables with this, boys. You're going busting. This <laughs> you're busting. Damn. What are you <laughs> My radar is just so off. I mean, it's all subjective. I mean, I personally don't love it. I'm not okay. really into Belgian beer. Which would make sense. Yeah. yeah. I'm still going to go chill with it. I feel like it just doesn't, I mean, accentuate the cider in a way that makes it better. Okay. I'm going bussing. You're going to go bussing? I'm bussing tables, boys right. and girls. When you said chill, I would have said mid. I feel like that puts us in a mid. In I'm a going mid. chid. It feels between mid and chid. chid. <laughs> I'm going chid. Okay. I'm fine with mid. We'll do chid. Okay. For sure. All right. Chid. It was right, good. Cool. I would drink more of it. Let's make Libby feel welcome and at home. No comments about or requests for pictures of her feet in, no. the, in the comment section. They're Nothing average like size eight. <laughs> that was too much. That's too much too information. Too long, information. Average size eight. <laughs> I keep it average up here. Why is this one so orange? Don't is there fruit in there? Don't even worry about it. You're going to love it. Oh, uh, this is the apple pie. I feel like I have to burp right now. <laughs> Whoa. So that is apple pie added to kvike? Yeah, this is kvike yeast, which is pretty neutral. And it's a little orangey sometimes, citrusy. Mm -hmm. But then we had cinnamon and cloves, a little bit of peppercorn, ginger, orange peel. I think it's fantastic. And I think this really is why like apple pie is made with these spices, because it just goes well together. Yeah. Does it take it out of cider territory? I don't know. That's probably a good <laughs> question. Set your sources. Set your sources. I'm going to go with Bussin. I'd give it a solid Bussin. I'm going to go Bussin. It just tastes bussin. different. I feel like I almost treat it like a Christmas beer and I'd have one and enjoy it and then want to move on to something else. It's really good. So I, I tried it before we added the spices and it was really good. With just right stick of ice? Yeah. If you don't love it or like even like I feel, it. Yeah. Then... Which I do like Belgian yeast, mm -hmm. which is weird because... I guess, what, Belgian wit, is that like a wheat strain? Yeah, but it would typically be for like a wit. It would a be wit. just like a clove and banana type. But I didn't get any of that out yeah. of it. No, nothing. Okay, so we're going to go. Spice Kvike. Yeah. A solid. A solid Boston. Solid Boston. All right. 
first bussin. Oh Cracking. god. Oh, oh no. Levy. Right click on do. Report this interruption. So. And the spice cider was made with our apple pie moonshine spice. So it's actually made for like high profile alcohol, but it works really well we found with It also just works well just like beers cider. and cider. Just ciders like a warm and, yeah, cider. Exactly. And we, we put that on our holiday ale we made this year, which is nice. a different video. We'll link that in the description. Hybrid Saison. All right, Libby. Yeah, I got a don't. Saison yeast is like diastatic positive yeast generally, which means that it has the ability to break down starch into sugar and then ferment it, which is important if you're bottling a beer that you think is done and you carbonate it to whatever level you think it is. And then the yeast actually continues to break down the residual sugars and ferment them. You're gonna create more CO2 and you could end up with like a bottle bomb. This is genetically modified yeast. They've removed that gene. So you don't have to worry. Science. Yeah. Um, interesting Smell. aroma, yeah. Now it's definitely like fruity. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, definitely. We have been drinking on these here at the office, and this has been one of the ones we've been drinking the most of. I like how you put we in that. I Kyle's been, been drinking been a drinking lot of cider. I just do, started, I so. Be, I might do dry <laughs> January this year. I'm not gonna lie, I've been thinking about that. Kyle's taking Dixie cups home on his walk home. <laughs> I have 100% been taking large mason jars of cider home. This is by far the best one. It's kind of fruity, clean, feels sweet even though it's not. Yeah, it just like, came I don't together. know what it does. It does, it, it really does, does, do be it, doing it. It does it good. Was, yeah, it do be doing it. That was the hybrid Saison. Very nice. Remember a few years ago we made some cider. I used um, Saison yeast. Dude, like after a year, it was so good. Yeah. And then I accidentally dumped it out. Um, long story, but. Uh, uh, that is very nice. Yeah. Uh, top tier, God tier. Yeah, God tier? Yeah, I'll God tier. I would agree with that. I could, okay. I could sit down and I'd pay 582 for a pint. With tax? 582. Before. And before. a tip? Basically, you would pay less than a normal beer for that. Okay. I'm a $5 beer man these days. Okay, cool. We have a first that. God tier. I think in a, it's in a unanimous vote as yeah, well. Yeah, that was really good. That was very nice. All right, next we have um, English L. And man, this is just, this is a weird one. We've been kind of drinking this as well. Kyle hates English L. You're not an English L. I don't, I don't generally love it, but to me, man, this is just weird. It's not, yeah, it's not, it's peculiar. Big words. I really do like the aroma though. The aroma reminded me of the third one, but the taste is nothing like it. Yeah, because it has like the spices and it yeah, kind of makes yeah. it the more apple-y. Very different, yeah. It's getting wow. better, but there's a, this- There's a weird thing at the end. There's like an, this like extreme dryness to it. It's almost bitter. I feel like it's like that Band-Aid taste a little bit. I feel Ooh. like I can pick that one out pretty easily. I'm not getting that at all. Yeah, I'm not getting Band-Aid. Maybe that's just dryness. Like that's a perceiving as something else. I get, I see what you're saying. I don't think it's Band-Aid, but it's like, it does, it's, it's not offensive. Yeah, I feel like it was offensive when, right when we first tapped it and it's chilled out. And I feel like this actually has a lot of potential to be delicious. Yeah. yeah. But it's, I don't think it's there quite yet. I'm very bad at explaining that, but at the end it just has a, a not so pleasant and it's more of a, a mouthfeel for me. Definitely, that's the first place I feel like I tasted and felt it was my mouth. I think it's just very, I think it's super dry. I'm drinking it, but. <laughs> Are you stupid or something? I wonder if the pH is really low. It feels like it's very, You're losing yeah, like there. a sour beer yeah, it does, But it's not it sour. It does look like sour, it's yeah. It's not sour, but it has the. Because your teeth kind of get that. I haven't been like swishing Like I drank sour. Swishing it. Let me swish it a little bit. You always say that about your teeth, but. Mm, I get a weird thing on my teeth on sour beers. Probably because mm. I have no enamel Interesting. Left. <laughs> you go to the dentist. <laughs> I do go. And it goes to the Woo! dentist. More than I go four I times a year because I neglected to go for 25 years. <laughs> go to the dentist, kids. <laughs> go to the dentist. Stay in school. I go literally bring dentist. flossers to work. I have floss yeah. in my office. I just am mad at doing it. Let me know if you ever need any. I got you. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to go mid. I will go mid. It's got a weird end ending, but. Yeah. Um, all right, cool. So we're on number six. Woo. Cellar Science. This is a regular Saison. So this doesn't okay. have like the non diastatic mod. So this can keep so going. This could be a little bit drier. I don't know. You know, it hasn't really sat around that long. And I don't know, you know, if there are any more differences between the Saisons and that. I will say that it, the first Saison wasn't like super Saison y. You mm -hmm. know, it wasn't like yeast forward like a. It was delicious. Too, but yeah, it was good. So, so which, we'll which brand makes this one? This is Cellar Science. Okay. Uh, the first one was, I don't know. I don't love the smell off the rip. The difference between six and five in terms of aroma, that has so much more aroma, even though the taste isn't like stellar. This one I think was very sulfury to begin with, which I kind of like actually. I'm still picking some up on the nose for sure. Yeah. But it's not like over the I kind of like it though. This one to me, and I, I keep con tasting this consistently, 
slightly buttery flavor to it. Which so, is, which, what, which all flavor is that? I think it might be Dassel. Paula Deen approved. Paula Deen approved? You know about the Paula Deen butter memes? No. Oh my god. Come on, guys. <laughs> don't, know. don't know. Give it the time. I just learned bussin' today. We Googled it to make sure. <laughs> Apostrophe or that. I have a very hard time picking that one up. It tastes so. one dimensional. Not great. Yeah, it's not terrible. It's my least favorite one. It is your least favorite. Yeah. I'm going nope. I was going to say, you're going to go nope. I would say I would do a max of a chill. We could chope it, you know. And this might be the tiebreaker. Yeah. I'm between nope and chill. Well, we can, can chop it. Let's go, let's go chop it. Dude, I mean... Because I wouldn't yeah. be upset. I feel like it might make my stomach hurt if I drank a whole pint. <laughs> okay. You know what? I wouldn't disagree with that. It has potential to, like, ruin the evening. We did it, guys. Okay, cool. We moved the chope. box. Yeah. Yeah, Cellar Science, Saison. Nothing against Cellar Science or Saisons, but it just yeah. didn't really and it might, work. And it might age out. Yeah. It's still it could young. age out, yeah. All right, so... Oh, you know what? Stop it. Don't know. This actually could be what I was thinking of. This one, okay, so this one to me has a weird... I'm getting butterscotch from this. Yes. From my sniff. Exactly. Yeah, and this is, this is actually what I was thinking of. This, it wasn't the seller science, it was okay. this one. Because I was going to say that, that doesn't really like taste as much like butter as I thought it did. Yeah, this is dip butterscotch. Yes. Think about like, also like movie theater. What happened which to this guy? I, I don't know, but it also looks to me like it's a oxidized? little- Oxidized? Oxidized. Yeah. This one has fruit in it, so it's supposed to be a red color. That color just this doesn't is, look right. This is just straight up like something happened. And that is straight up butterscotch candy. Yeah. Yeah. And then the weird thing is it's like mostly water with like oh. some, some just like straight up grain alcohol and uh, butterscotch candy dropped into it or something. I'm just gonna go straight nope on this one. You're gonna go nope? I'm gonna go nope. I'm gonna go chill. I wouldn't be mad about this either. No? I would throw this at the bartender's face. God, I, I'm still learning everybody, all right? <laughs> just joking. I mean, I would throw this. <laughs> I had high hopes for this as well. Something happened to it during fermentation, but, for sure. Okay. Which is odd because we fermented everything the same. At the same time. It's very undercarbonated. There's like no carbonation either. We yeah. all dumped them out, so let's, let's just go ahead and nope it. Oh, yeah. Let's okay. take it off the board. Was that Kolsch? That was a Kolsch. The Kolsch tasted weird from the rip. Oh, I think both of these are, are two of the best. This Okay, so this is Cellar Science Nectar Yeast, which I think is a, supposed to accentuate like fruity. That's the red packet, yeah. yeah. And then it has guava extract. I added to it. a ton of guava Did extract, you? yeah. Yeah, because I've never had guava before, and it's really? kind of it's quite intense. I wasn't ready for it when I first had it. Oh, it's got a nice smell, though. It's like grapefruity. Is grapefruit, that what mango, guava. Yeah. I'm getting all three of those. Yeah. I think that is great. It has a perceived sweetness that I like. It's definitely not sweet, but I don't know if it's my tongue's tricking me. Yeah. But it's, it's, I'd pay $7 for it. I was going to say, seven? I was just thinking, if I had a bar, I would charge premium for this drink because that's really good. It was probably the most expensive mm -hmm. version of all the that's nice. okay. ciders. So that was Cellar Science Nectar. Yeah. I want to try Science Nectar uh, Guava Puree. So yeah. that was um, okay. Aseptic Fruit Company's Guava Puree. I'm going to go somewhere between Bussin and God Tier. Yeah. That's where I would put that. I'll go God Tier. I'm going to go God Tier with it. All right. That was super delightful. I'm not going to argue with that. Super delightful. I felt like an old person thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that she, we should have replaced God too with super, super delightful. delightful. <laughs> All right, last but not least. Oh, yeah. So this is Mythical Hammer Yeast, the yeast blend we made with White Labs. And we've been putting this in all kinds of stuff lately. Again, we get paid nothing for this. We just did, did this blend with them because we thought it would be a cool thing to do. Like, it was sure. a cool thing to yeah. do. Um, but they are still doing a pre-sale for this if you're watching this sometime before the end of the month. This is December of 2023. They're still doing a pre-sale for their, I guess, their what release. is it? Ferment Fermentation Society? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so you can order this yeast. And it'll be a, a one-time thing for now. So once right. it's gone, get yeah, it. Yeah, once it's get gone, it. it's gone. So buy some, put some in your fridge, so yeah. keep it, because it's been a real treat. Yeah, it has been great. The aroma is the most beer-like. It reminds me of like a Budweiser, for whatever reason. <laughs> Not remind me of a Budweiser at all. But I guess I do feel like Budweiser has like an apple-y Yeah, the apple-y yeah, apple smell. You're gonna ruin it for me though. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna seem very biased, but I love this. Ooh. I think it's great. It's very different in the mouthfeel region. Yeah, I feel like it's the most balanced of all of the ciders we've tried. Very drinkable um, and very good. I feel like it has more body, if it that does. makes yeah, sense. Absolutely. It's not as dry. I would agree with that, yeah. We got more going on in, in terms of body. 
Look at that body. Look at that body. Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. I'd pay 750 for that. Yeah. <laughs> we could put a bod tier. Bod tier. Look at that body. <laughs> I'd go god um, tier for that. All right. This and the guava are on equal playing fields for sure. Yeah. I'm just really impressed by the uh, mythical hammer yeast. Yeah. And I didn't anticipate it working so well on the cider. Everything we put in it, it's yeah, worked really well. Everything we've done, a, a holiday the, ale. Yep. No, well, actually it was a winter lager. It was yep. not an ale. We did one a lager, a cider. Uh, we've done another one. Oh, the beer with them. The, <laughs> a cool the cool IPA. IPA. Yeah. Yeah. They've all mm -hmm. been very, very, some of the best beers, honestly. I feel like it's a very forgiving yeast in that way. Where it's just yeah. kind of like, eh, we'll, we'll just kind of clean things up. Right, and, yeah. Which it's, is nice. So it's a blend of several different yeasts. And I, uh, White Labs doesn't publish this, but I believe there is a lager and an ale in the same blend. And then there's some yeast that will accentuate hop flavor and like fruity notes. Yeah, we want to do pressure fermentation, yeah. lagers, ales. Mm -hmm. it turned a, out great. It's a nice, it's yeah. a nice one. Pre-order. Make Wait, us look good in front of White Labs. Here's the thing. <laughs> For me, I want to be able to keep using the yeast because yeah, I love great. it. I think it's great. So I hope people actually pre-order this and um, they keep making it and we yeah. can keep buying it. And support companies that do cool things yeah. in the yeah. homebrewing community right. too. All right. Well, that's it. Uh <laughs> oh man. <laughs> it's not I'm sure bad. it's fine. Yeah. yeah. I want to try it as well. Go for it. You chug it. It, it tasted the most like the butterscotch one to me. Oh, I can, I'm kind of getting the cinnamon one. Okay. I had it's to actually know. pretty good. Well, so cider me, who won? <laughs> cider me, who wins? So hybrid saison, guava, yes. nectar, uh, and mythical hammer guide tier. Bussin tier is spiced kvike mid, solid mid, English ale, chid, Belgian monk, yeah. chill, Belgian wit, nil, <laughs> saison number two, and the nope, nope. kosh. And I would probably drink any of them but the butterscotch. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching, and um, we'll see you on the next one.